Hi everybody, time again to tie a fly, uh, this time in hand it's gonna be a grey with red ends from the Irish Cork collection. It's gonna be interesting, I haven't tied in hand for quite a while so um, yeah it's gonna be nice. Uh, hopefully you think the same, so let's begin. So I hope this angle is gonna uh, make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. So have my hook here and the cork I'm using to attach the fly uh, in the in between I'm uh, sorting out the materials so first of all uh, extra small sil oval silver tinsel so just gonna attach that one Underneath the hook, just tying it in, a few wraps. I'm going to do as normal, cutting it off there. It's going to disappear anyhow later. So going back. Need to wax the thread. The trick to tie in hand is to make sure you have plenty of wax on your, your thread and it shouldn't be pre wax thread. I don't fancy that at all. Should be fresh applied wax, in my opinion. So, just gonna make sure it's it's straight. Just tying it in. In this case, I need to change fingers. A few wraps. Just gonna remove the material that is moving around on the table. So I just tying it in forward until the end of the gut there. Somewhere like that. So I'm just gonna cut it off. There we are. Just verifying it look looks tight. Removing the leftovers. Looks okay. Looks okay from the other side as well. So next step, a bit more wax to the thread. So I'm gonna take the red floss, where is it? Oh, silk, sorry, it's not floss. I'm just gonna touch it like that. Then 
tying it in going back with the thread it's going to be way too much floss so I'm moving backwards with the thread again Now we have a better amount of, sorry, I should actually hold it properly, I'm changing hands, that's not really ideal, so Just a few more turns, I can really already feel I haven't done this in a while, my hand is starting to cramp up due to the fact I'm using too much press pressure. Swapping hands just to tie in the silk. There we go. Now you can see the silk is in place. Just gonna tie it in up until the middle. Somewhere like that. Then I'm gonna cut the leftovers. There we go. Keeping that one just in case. So. What we need to do now is to even up in front of the, the silk. So I'm using the thread for that. Waxing a bit more. I'm actually gonna tie everything in and then start with a new thread. Normally you wouldn't swap hands like I do but I'm cramping up since I hold them. I put too much pressure on the finger on the hook so that's not really ideal. You will notice if you haven't done it in a while, you will do it. So, now we see a tin cell floss is in place. I'm just gonna take some thread. quite a lot half a meter or something oh, a little bit less I prefer to not have the long thread and add thread as you go that's how I do it
then I'm gonna make sure that I wind above the old thread so it's secured going backwards now can I can just hold those while I remove let me see I don't see myself there we go while I remove the first the old thread now that's gone and then I want to tie in the beginning of the new thread as well just to overlap it a bit there we go so I'll just add that to the hook really it's a waxed thread so then it's easier so waxing the thread even more so the next step is to add the tail so I go in the position of adding the tail more wax you can't have too much wax in my opinion so here's the tail I'm gonna go with quite a long tail it's gonna be fishing fly So I'm gonna just secure it a few tight wraps. You see it it eats quite a lot of thread. And now it's quite high. So I'm gonna use gonna pull it downwards a bit let me see just gonna t twist it a little bit the gear in the front did that there we are so tail is in place so it's gonna back the thread even more now it's time for the Indian crow Now my hands are not cramping up anymore. That's good. So, I'm trying to attach this small feather.
not really where I want it to be. It's overshooting the tail. interferes with the with the tail so I'm just gonna lift it up and twist it a bit there you go Going backwards again, adding even more wax. And it's time for the ostrich. Leaving some room. Let's see. It's turning in the right direction. That's good. Just securing that one. Just cutting the leftover of the ostrich there. Now I need to add additional thread due to the fact it's almost done. So I go to the front and just do like a, yeah, just securing it. And now I can cut it off. And just add a new one. So there you go. I just put it on the cork meanwhile. Sometimes it's good to have open the champagne bottle so more thread let me start with the body so it's gonna be flat tinsel uh, it's gonna be medium olive uh, so oval uh, tins, silver tinsel as well as uh, uh, gray silver and a grey hackle. It states Irish grey. Uh, I didn't have a good grey so I'm gonna go with uh, this one. I 
I think it would look quite nice grizzly just waxing the thread a bit before we start So attaching the thread, tying a bit over itself just to make sure it's secure, then I cut it off, there we go, so now we're going to add all those tin, tin cells. Starting with the silver tinsel first, and in this case, since uh, I'm actually going to have a silver body, I don't need to strip anything of the tinsel to make it less bulky. So I'm just tying it in underneath the hook sorry need to be in picture so maybe I should just open up this a little bit going backwards again making sure that I actually tie it in properly waxing the thread So that one is secure, going backwards again. Now I'm going to attach the flat silver tinsel. So I just place that underneath. Tying it in. And then it's time for the gray seal fur. I'll start with a little bit first. tight wraps let me see it's not tight enough there we go Somewhere there, we're gonna add a hackle. More wax. Now prepare the feather, I double the hackle. 
makes it easier to tie in. So I'm just gonna measure. There we go. So tying the hackle in all the way, going back, time for some seal fur again. I'm just sorting this part out. Since the whole body is gonna be sealed fur, I just move on. Just gonna leave room for the front uh, hackle. That's a claret one, so it's gonna be really nice. And also, uh, the wing and hurl head will take some space. So, there we are. Waxing the thread. Just tying it in. And it's secured. So Time for more thread. So I'm just gonna leave it on the cork. There we go. Well, you don't see that, so there we go. <coughs> and we're gonna do the last things on the body. So uh, doing the tin cell, then the hackle, and then we can start to attach the wing, etc. So waxing the thread as always. There we are. few wraps cutting the leftovers of the old thread so time to work with the tinsel then
Cut the leftover of that tin cell. Showing that away. Then taking the oval tin cell. sure I'm following the flat tin cell accordingly Could be tighter the tin cell now it's just uh, yeah four and a half turns but I want to make room um, in the front and also uh, I want to be able to see a bit of the body the gray seal fur otherwise it would be completely hidden I actually gonna use a heckle piler for this one. It becomes easier to get get it where you want it. We're just gonna move forward with the tread a bit. Tying it in. Cut the left over. There you have a hackled body. It's gonna clean out a bit here. That looks better. Gonna wax the thread. I'm 
leave it on the court. Then we have the Clara tackle. So I'm just gonna clean it out. Raise the feathers a bit. I'm not gonna do that many turns. I think that would be sufficient. Just cutting the leftovers there carefully. Same thing here as always. Try to pull the hackle backwards. catch the thread so let me uncombine that still so I'm gonna have the thread in front there we are so I'm gonna hold the thread here then doing the hackle Oops, sorry for that. Few tight wraps of the waxed thread. And just pulling a bit in this one to make sure it's very tight cutting that one off cleaning up tighten even more There we go. Declare a tackle in place. I need more wax to the thread, I noticed. Let's wax that one.
There we are. So I'm just gonna pull down the hackle a bit. So I'm just gonna clean the desk from all the fibers and stuff. Then it's time to attach the wing. Not bad at all for not doing it in uh, six months or something. But as when tying a hand, things tend to shift a little bit. So I'm just pulling that one back where it should be. If you're not a, a professional in hand tyer, which I'm not. I just doing it for it it's fun, simple as that. And it's good to know if you forget something you can tie in hand in worst case. So Movex Wing Time. Mallard was a bit short, so I will add more mallard to the wing, the sides. So let me brush it a bit. Tight wraps. So, what I'm going to do here is to secure the thread. Just picking out all the fibers there. We don't want to tie them in. Doing another one just to make sure it's gonna stay.
Yeah, I got one fiber, but that one I cut off. So just brushing the wing a bit. You see, just need to add a bit more mallard. Then it's gonna look much wider. So starting to cut off things here. There we go. Just gonna put it here and then cleaning up a bit. So, Mala time. Quite broad strips of mallard. On each side. But before that, we need to add a new thread. Not really good with some volume there. Yeah. And I got room for the hurl as well. That's going to be tricky part. But nobody remembers a coward, right? So, yes, doing it. Okay, thread time. I think that would be sufficient. Not many steps left. So I just gonna look at the pattern. I think the old thread. So I 
Så jag ska kunna ha upp det man kan, eller en sorry, mallar det bit. Now we see on my side, mallards on, doing the same on the other side. Trying not to catch too many hackles. I want to have a few left. <laughs> but there we are. Maxing the thread. Then I'm gonna add this one. Golden pheasant. Tippets. Let me see. Gonna add them somewhere here. They also got to blend in to the wing and be brushing. Same on this side let me see yeah they're blending in nicely And we have a red wood duck. So let me hold it better. Just adding it on my side first. Go. Now this side. And as I notice, we're running out of thread again. So I will just secure it. Preparing for a last piece. And as you see, you're not clean on your fingers doing this one. From all the bags. There we are. 
And this gives us an opportunity to uh, let me see to just blend the wing properly. Starting to look like a fly. So meanwhile we can take all the extras off. Cutting the head clean. Lot of fiber there. There we go. I think the volume is good. So I just gonna move on Macau and then we gonna have the ostrich herd head and then the fly is finished. Yeah it's gonna be rough fly I haven't done it uh, tying in a hand in a while as I mentioned but it's quite fun so my cow let me find some nice horns I just gonna tie it in not doing anything fancy Hopefully sufficient for the last steps. Yeah, and I'm working my last night at my current job and then I change it back to IT on Wednesday so it's gonna be really nice can normal hours again
There we go. So, Macau. I was going to add it on the sides. Trying to get the equal length. Looks equal to me. So I'm just gonna cut everything away in the front here. Last step, the street shark. Then I can start to play around with the, with the wing and, you know, makes it more even. Here I'm gonna use this one just to simplify it. Whoops! Simplify it right. <laughs> Break. Breaks. So let me be a bit more gentle.
so just tying in the last part of the thread We have a thick, a thick head with ostrich child. So it went way better than I thought. There we go. Cutting off the thread. I'm just gonna brush it a bit. And there you are, tied in hand. <clears throat> so that's uh, how you can tie a fly in hand. In this case, I used uh, gray with red ends from the Irish core collection. A lovely fly. And uh, there it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a try tying in hand uh, yourself. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, else, have a great start of the week. And uh, I'm going to make a few, at least one uh, more video uh, the, the coming weekend. So, take care. See you in the next video. Bye.